Morning James, it's completely Wednesday. How the dickens are you? Check out the summary attire, check out the summary attire. Oh goodness, in a stunning turn of events it's raining in England. I'm currently suffering from what respected medical professionals call a bad hair day. So hi James, how are you doing? I'm really glad that you enjoyed the Avengers as much as you did. Um, I really wanted to see the Avengers but instead I've been participating in this kind of uh, hallucination. It's like black on white and it's got Microsoft Word on top. It's called my dissertation. You haven't heard that for the millionth time but thankfully it's the last week of it and like oh god the finishing line is in sight I've done the bulk of it I just need to do the supplementary stuff like pass it through my tutor but it occurred to me like at some point you're going to be faced with a similar workload right you're going to be faced with a project it may be a dissertation it may be a film or whatever you're doing at uni whatever's required for you at uni you're going to be faced with some kind of workload that just makes you really grumpy and like a giant squid of anger and that's not fun so this video is going to be tips on how not to go in Insane. And I'm not using that term lightly, James. Rewind back to Sunday, my two thought processes were James's video was really great yesterday. And uh, And James, I think you'll be glad to know I did take your advice. I did a social. My God, did it help. Like, it's my friend Charlie's 24th birthday on Sunday, and prior to that, I've been working like pretty much non stop. For the past I'm not going to take a guess about how long that was. By Sunday I was really frustrated, I wasn't getting anywhere and felt really really grumpy and with just like a bit grr at the world. If I had the brain capacity at that point to ask, is this what mental exhaustion feels like? My body would have definitely replied, yeah. So yeah, definite tip number one James, be social. I know you're really good at it, but at some points it's really difficult to kind of take your own advice. But in the same way, do get some sleep as well. Sleep is good. Another lovely piece of advice is don't relive the awesome bits of your childhood. On my day off, um, I started playing Pokemon Crystal, which was awesome, but it was too awesome. I tried to make it relevant to my um, like sociology and shit by um, by naming all of my Pokemon after intellectuals I really want to get into. Oh yeah. But if anything can be too awesome, that was it. Dissertations involve lots of spade work. They involve you typing a lot. This is understandably a really dull process. What you want to be thinking is, well, how does Cooley's looking glass self affect this, this, and this? Not, I could be battling the Elite Four by now. Instead, James, if you have a day off, read something awesome by Bill Bryson. He just makes you feel amazing. James, I've been reading A Walk in the Woods by Bill Bryson recently, and it's awesome. But it also reminds me of, like, one of my first memories of you. Like, like, like when we walked from Foy to Padstow, like, in 2005. And just as an aside, James, Scouts doesn't really teach you anything, apart from how to be a complete asshat. I was in a slightly older group hiking and you were in a slightly younger group hiking, but the asshattery came when you kind of like tagged behind like a significant amount and everyone else had to stop, which was an awesome kind of thing to do. But instead of staying long enough so you could have a rest, as, as soon as you caught up, they started like walking again, which meant you had no rest. And I think we can draw an analogy here, James. No matter how slow you think you're going, even if you think you're going nowhere, James, especially if you think you're going nowhere. Do take rests. They help. A lot. James, I shall see you on Saturday. Goodbye!